Russia will modernize the land-to-air missile system operated in the Arab Soviet Union, UAE, Director of International Cooperation, Russian technology company Rostec, Viktor Kladov, told TASS. We are agreeing to the system issued by Panzer which operates in the United Arab Emirates. If the UAE authorities want to get a new system, we will be happy to provide it. But supporting this we are talking about the complexes that are available, Kladov said. At the Dubai Air Show 2019 held in the UAE in November 2019, the head of the Russian Federal Service for Military and Technical Cooperation Dmitry Shugayev said to hold talks on Russia and the UAE which were under discussion related to the increased trade in Panzer S-1 air defense, defense system operated in that Arab country. Russia delivered 50 Panzer S system in export configurations and 1,000 missiles to the UAE in 2009 to 2013. The deal is worth $800 million. Panzer S-1, official name NATO, SA-22 Greyhound, is a missile, surface-to-air system designed to protect military and civilian facilities, including the front air defense system. Pants mounted on the truck chassis for greater mobility are armed with two 30mm guns, each capable of firing up to 40 revolutions per second, as well as 12 anti-aircraft missiles. The Panzer missile system is a family of surface-to-air missile systems that can move on its own. Panzer S-1 is the first version and is a combination of land-to-air missiles and short- and medium-range artillery weapons produced by KBP from Tula, Russia. This system is a further development of 2K-22 Tunguska, NATO reporting name, SA-19, SA-N-11, and is the latest air defense technology using phased array radar for acquisition and target tracking. Although more is planned to be made in 2019, only 112 out of 200 will continue to operate because newer and more efficient models are being made. Panzer S-1 is designed to provide air, military, industrial, administrative installation air defense points against aircraft, helicopters, precision ammunition, cruise missiles and UAVs, and to provide additional protection to air defense units against enemy air strikes using precision ammunition, especially in the low to very low range. The first finished version was completed in 1995 with one L-36 radar, then the other was designed. This is a short-to-medium-range ground-based air defense system, wheeled tractor stationary with two to three operators. The air defense consists of automatic anti-aircraft guns and surface-to-air missiles with radar or optical target tracking and radio command guidance. The aim is to protect civilian and military target points and areas for motorized or mechanical forces up to regiment size or as defense assets for high-ranking air defense systems such as the S-300, S-400. This system has the ability for anti-ammunition missions. He can reach the target in the waterline, above the water. It can operate in fully automatic mode. It has the ability to work in fully passive mode. The chance to hit the target one rocket is not less than 0.7 with a reaction time of 4 to 6 seconds. He can fire missiles and weapons when moving. For the main radar station, early detection of altitude may be between 0 to 60 degrees or 26 to 82 degrees depending on mode. This system has claimed significant advantages over other systems, such as Crotaling, France, Roland 3, France plus US. Rapier 2000, United Kingdom, CRAM, Germany plus US. 
This was not confirmed by comparative testing, but clearly follows from the stated limits of the system's likelihood 2010. In 2013, there was a variant with two radar stations for early detection. This system has a modular structure that allows quick and easy replacement of any part. After receiving the target coordinates from any source, it may defeat the target using all radars except for early detection radars in the range from minus 5 to plus 85 degrees vertical. The interval between missile launches is 1 to 1.5 seconds, world record for analog systems. The S-400 Triumph and Panzer missile system can be integrated into a two-layer defense system. Initially the Soviet strategic missile system was placed in repaired locations. Newer systems, such as S-300 PSBM, saw minus 10 20ths, on the other hand are far more mobile which reduces vulnerability to attack. However, once the S-300 unit was discovered by enemy forces, the unit was still very vulnerable to large-scale attacks. One role for Panzer S is to provide air defenses to the S-300 missile system. It was also decided that the wheeled chassis would be more suitable for Panzer S than the track chassis, arguing that the wheeled vehicle was faster, more susceptible to damage, easier to maintain, and cheaper to produce. Development as Panzer S began in 1990 as a successor to the successor of Tunguska M1. A prototype was completed in 1994 and displayed at Mox 1995. The program soon experienced difficulties which resulted in the cessation of funding. However, KBP continues to develop the program using its own funds. This resulted in a complete redesign of the tower and radar system and the removal of older Tunguska equipment. This system has two new radars with increased range is able to track more air targets but also land targets and has an integrated IFF system. Inside the cabin, two new LCD multi-function screens have replaced many CRT screens and the new central computer system greatly reduces reaction time. Single operator operation can be achieved when needed. Because of the new technology adopted, the overall volume of the weapon station was reduced by one-third while the overall weight was reduced by half. This system has also upgraded missiles, from Type 57E6 to Type 57E6E which may be interchangeable, and weapons, from Type 2A72 to Type 2A38M. Direct shooting tests took place in June 2006 at the Yust Kapustin shooting range, Astrakhan region, Russia. The final test series before the May 2007 dispatch at Kapustin Yar included a force march of 250 kilometers, 160 miles, to an unprepared launch position, which simulates the achievement of a typical air defense mission. The Panzer S-1 air defense missile weapon system was adopted for use with the Russian army on orders of the chairman of the government of the Russian Federation Dmitry Medvedev on November 16, 2012. Modernized Panzer S-2 began operating in 2015.